Well, these days, competitive sports are among the most popular activities in high school, and until recently, none have involved nuts, bolts, or wires. Our Russ Joel takes us inside the newest competitive sport, competitive robotics. It's challenging. First Robotics represents an opportunity to solve a problem that doesn't exist. It's competitive. It gets you out of the classroom to have a real hands-on experience with building stuff. It's rewarding. My experience has been absolutely amazing. And most of all, it's fun. Six weeks of spending time with friends working on a robot, I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Just a few of the words describe the annual First Robotics Challenge, a yearly competition where high school teams across the nation construct Cybertronic competitors for play in a specially designed robot tournament. I'm an engineer, and I see that there are not enough high school students going into engineering. Ed Latimer is a sponsor from Team 476 in Ponca City and says the competition is the perfect way to get high school students interested in STEM careers such as engineering. One of my favorite stories to show the impact of what FIRST Robotics has is we had a foreign exchange student come over and just had one year here in the Ponca City High School and they joined the robotics team to try and get into uh, one activity and this person had never so much as even picked up a pair of pliers in their life and after one year with the robotics team they were so into it they changed their entire major and decided to go into an engineering curriculum. This year's challenge is called Lunacy, a game in which alliances of three robots and their respective teams try to fill baskets of the opposing alliance with balls called moon rocks. Starting from the date of the kickoff, teams have six weeks to design and build a robot to compete in the game. While the process does enhance students' skills in science, math, and technology, the FIRST program also equips them with skills that go far beyond all of these fields. There's a lot of life skills that these kids learn. Uh, teamwork, how to, how to uh, work under pressure, they only got six weeks to do this, how to uh, get along with everybody else. If, if one kid has one idea and another one has another idea, they have to work together and, and, and come out with something together that'll work. But the students don't go at it alone. Every team has several adult mentors who help them through the process of designing and building their robots. I spend every work night, every work day with the team working on it. Personally, I'm hooked on it because uh, I plan on being a mentor probably the rest of, rest of my life. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Creating a community of lifelong learning that is sure to have an impact for generations to come.